Hi friends, welcome to the Remok channel. In this video, I'm going to show you three lighting setup which you can help in your food photography. So keep watching. Okay, so some of my friends were asking on advices on which camera or mobile phone they have to invest in to get good images for uh, their recipes and cooking. So. Uh, basically for food photography it's not just about the gear uh, it's more into the control of the light you have and uh, also the composition of the subjects so that's when I thought I will just do a video on uh, different lighting setup which you can use for uh, uh, photographing uh, the recipes and cooking and all so uh, without any further ado let's get started for the first setup, uh, we are using the natural light as the light source. So we have the uh, big window here. This window will act as a big soft box and uh, this will be, get some soft lights on our subject. Uh, I'm using the Canon 1300D with the 18135 lens uh, to get this shot. And I'm using this chair to elevate myself to get an overhead shot so that I'm getting a flat image out of uh, the subjects. The composition I've uh, changed uh, somewhat to get the final image and uh, if you want to have an additional light you can use a reflector uh, to the opposite side of the uh, light source to get a fill light onto the shadow side. So uh, let me show you the final images I've taken uh, on my camera as well as my mobile that is the Realme 8 Pro. So uh, as you can see these are the two images you can just compare uh, so this uh, this shows it's not uh, about the DSLR or the mobile you can get similar images out of uh, the you can be more creative by using the curtains or black curtains to uh, channel the uh, sunlight onto the specific target uh, also the best time to uh, shoot would be uh, like uh, in the evening time so that uh, you are getting a little bit more uh, soft light uh, for our subject so you can place the subject at uh, different locations uh, like a uh, subject placed uh, so that the window is back side so we are getting a backlit uh, subject on the same subject with uh, sufficient light that is for the easy or minimalistic light setup for food photography. Let's move on to the second one. In this, uh, for the second uh, setup, we are using a 9 watt LED bulb along with the Digitex softbox. Uh, if you have seen my uh, previous video on uh, budget lighting for corporate portrait shots, uh, you can just uh, check out my link on here. For this uh, lighting, we are using the same uh, light setup as we have done for the corporate portrait shot. If you don't have a softbox, you can make it using a cardboard. Uh, check out the YouTube for do-it-yourself soft boxes with cardboard as well as aluminium foil. Uh, it, any cheaper would, would do. So since I have this, I will be using this one. And I placed a black cloth uh, as a background. I want to have the uh, entire background to be black. And uh, to have like um, additional light, I use this reflector to have uh, a fill light onto the shadow side. And uh, this is the final shot. Moving on to the third setup, uh, for this shot I'm using the off-camera flash. We won't be able to use the mobile uh, camera to take this shot. Okay. For the main light I'm using the Yongno YN 560 Mark III uh, with the Digitec softbox and uh, for the backlight uh, I'm placing a Digitec flash on the back side of the subject. Now uh, this is how I shot this. Uh, since the flashlight is a bit more powerful than the LED light, I'm using an additional diffuser to have it more soft light onto the apples uh, so that I'm getting less reflection on the uh, shiny, portion, shiny portions. Now to get a good effect on it, I'm using uh, a little spray to have it uh, uh, this kind of effect. So this is the final image I took with the 1300D and uh, after post processing this is the final image. So that's all for today's video. If you have any queries uh, with regards to the gear I use or uh, anything related to photography and videography, you can just drop it down in the comment section and uh, I will make sure to come back to you. So please subscribe and uh, share. So see you next time.